Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So this was a very interesting topic for me to have a little bit of a discussion relating to the Grand Theft Auto 6 actually maybe getting an exclusive marketing rights for the PlayStation 5. Odd, because this is just a rumor, unfortunately, but it would have been quite interesting if this would have been real deal. Now, I don't believe we will even know if it's real or not, but nevertheless, it is a possibility that in the future we may see something happening for the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailers and so on that will be coming specifically from the PlayStation side. And if that's the case, then yeah, maybe this rumor is quite warranted. Now, this is just a wild new report that came from Red Gaming Tech and he mentions, can confirm, I've heard and mentioned in the video that Sony is going to use Grand Theft Auto 6 for heavy marketing of the PlayStation 5 Pro. Don't take it as a confirmation though, pinch of salt on until it's announced. Again, like I don't think they're gonna just simply announce that. But if that's the case, man, Xbox, oof, that is a giant blow because it's just basically confirmation, well, this game is never coming on Xbox. No, that's not true. Obviously, it will come out on Xbox, Grand Theft Auto 6, I'm, I'm talking about. But that having a marketing right, specifically for the PlayStation side, that's a very big deal on Sony's end. And I think that is actually a very good move on top of that, if they can marketing that Grand Theft Auto 6 will be played best on PlayStation 5 Pro, because remember guys, play, uh, the Grand Theft Auto 6 is not yet coming on PC on day one, because Rockstar or Take-Two Interactive want to uh, take the, all of the opportunity of maxing out the outcome and the sales, the funds, specifically for the Grand Theft Auto 6, since they'll be releasing first on the consoles, such as the PlayStation 5 and of course the Xbox series, and then maybe a year or maybe two years later, they will release the same game on PC though. And of course this means they can double up on the amount for the Grand Theft Auto 6 in terms of the funds. Now again, if that's the case, if this is real deal, and actually Sony is going to be using Grand Theft Auto 6 to market play their PlayStation 5, well, upcoming PlayStation 5 Pro, Oof, this would be a very big and very good thing for uh, Sony. And also, this also means that they can actually cheat a little bit, if that makes sense. If you guys know, right, PlayStation 5 Pro is not yet known when it's coming out, what is the price tag, and, but we do know at least how it looks like in general. You know, I already made, made a video all about that as well. If you, if you want, you can check it out, guys. It's one of my more recent videos. And yet, also, if they're gonna mention, like say, have their own dedicated, a little bit of a showcase specifically for upcoming PlayStation 5 Pro and all the capabilities that it's got and all the games that are gonna be coming for the PlayStation 5 Pro and I will be able and uh, to utilize and take a full advantage of this console and yet it's just that showing off the first game, let's say, Grand Theft Auto 6. Oh man, this is a ginormous blow for Xbox, and I mean, Xbox is already in the gutter. They really are, unfortunately. I'm not going to sit here and deny and say that Xbox is not, because Xbox has been taking so many hits, so many blunders, and it's just not because of the PlayStation's moves, but because of their own faults. And yet now seeing this, and if it could be a real deal, or at least real case, oh man, Xbox... You gotta get your shit together, for real. Oh, nah, I don't know. Because, like, in this case, a lot of fans, myself included, right? I'm a PlayStation guy. I, I want to do all about the PlayStation ecosystem because I'm there. I'm on their platform. So it kind of makes sense why I would be on the side for the PlayStation side. But I do see the benefits of a competition. Because Xbox and, you know, say, me, well, in this case, PlayStation, they can be very arrogant. If they don't have a competition, they can do anything they want in terms of scheming things. And now that the Xbox is out of the picture, well, they can do whatever they want. Because look at this. They don't need to decrease the prices for their console, the PlayStation 5, and yet instead it's increasing in price. It pretty much has increased in price all over the world, and a third time increased the price, in, I believe, in Japan. And it's like even more expensive than it is in US, uh, the prices in Japan to get you know, pick up yourself a PlayStation 5. It's funny how that works. Actually, it's better for you to buy a technology on day one because it will be cheaper then than buying the same technology four years later and instead it's actually going to be more expensive. 
just to think about that, that makes no darn sense because the technology, and it's a normal thing, right? It would and should get cheaper over time, over the years. It's been four years. Why is the PlayStation 5 still so expensive? And in fact, it's getting more expensive. Absolutely insane. And now PlayStation 5 Pro is in the mix. So what's going on with that thing? Oh man, oh man. And it's just like, you'd be thinking about it. Wait, if the PlayStation 5 Pro is coming out, but yet the PlayStation 5 actually increased in price and it costs like, what is it, 550 bucks? And it's just like, oh man, how much is the PlayStation 5 Pro gonna cost? Is this shit gonna cost me 700 bucks? Get out of here, a lot of people are gonna feel like that. Because this is gonna be a repeated history that we had with the PlayStation 3 initially. Because PlayStation 3, back in that era, were very, very arrogant. They thought that they had the world on the palm of their hand, and they thought that they could, they, they could do anything they wanted with their consumers. But now it seems like they were repeating the history again. Oh, man, come on, please don't make the PlayStation 5 Pro super expensive because they are actually going to just not going to see the investment and they're going to actually be losing out uh, instead. My honest opinion, I think that the PlayStation 5 Pro can be absolutely the maximum amount is 650 bucks. Absolutely maximum. In fact, I think the ideal price because how the PlayStation 5 expense, how expensive it is as well, 600. I think 600 is the uh, prime amount, I think, at this case, because how everything has been going about. Uh, honestly, as well, like we have to consider that the CD tray uh, for the PlayStation 5 Pro is going to be most likely be separated, and so you're going to have to make a separate purchase for that. That's going to cost an additional $80 and also a stand yeah that's right a separate stand for if you want to keep your playstation 5 pro uh, standing vertically then you're gonna have to make a, a different purchase on that i think that costs like about 30 bucks it's just like that 110 dollars on top so that's gonna cost 760 or 710 oh man oh our wallets are gonna be dry my goodness and on top of that, 2025, we've got so many games and upcoming games that can be coming out. Oh my goodness. And it's just like, and it's not even the end of the year yet. And we already know so many big titles coming out in 2025. Ah, my, our poor, poor wallets. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Nevertheless, I am pretty excited to find out more. You know, I am excited, right? If that makes sense, right? But I'm not exactly... <sighs> Like, I'm worried too, you know what I mean? I'm worried a little bit, but I'm still excited to see what could it be and what kind of direction are they gonna go with this. Interesting, interesting. All right guys, that's all I'm gonna have a little bit of a chat for today. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later.